Hi everyone, I just wanted to give you a quick example how to get my printouts on my Pinterest board. And these are the ones that are actually available right now. So let's go right to it. I have this all up on my page here for my YouTube. So let me go to, for an example, we'll go here to the fall hall. We will go down to show more. Here it is, the link. It's going to take you directly to my took you directly to my printable. Well, actually, took you directly to my Pinterest boards. Here it is, printable and painting coloring pages. Here it is, guys. This is what I have available so far. So you're going to click on the one you want. Click view image. You're going to right click, save image. In your files, name it anything you want. We'll just say Fall Hall. Type it in. Fall. Fall. H-A-U-L. All right. Save it. It's going to save into mine as a download. It went down there to the download. All right. Let's hit it. Download. Here it is. Now I'm going to right click. Hit print. And you're going to go to, this one is actually in the landscape Formation. So I'm going to go ahead and you pick what size you want. That's the full size, the uh, eight and a half by 11. Let's go do an eight by 10. Eight by 10. You can do it any size you want. Here we go. Eight by 10. And then I like to do, let's see what the shrink to fit. Okay. We do, you can do a full page fill page fill page or shrink to fit on mine. Okay, let's hit print. And my printer takes a few minutes to, to go through. So I will be right back with you. Oh yeah, here it's going to go. It's warming up. It's printing out. Hopefully you have a beautiful printout and you can use these to, I'm doing it on printer paper, whatever paper fits in your printer you could do. And I really like to use these as transfers and I'm going to give a demonstration as how I do my transfer process. Okay, here it comes, it's coming out. All right, once it comes out, I'm going to demonstrate the transfer process. I went ahead and did two. Here's the fall hall, perfect printout. Here's fall leaves, and you may need to sign up for free for Pinterest so you can take full access. There's many people sharing many things there, but that is a great way for you to get my printouts. And let's get to the print the uh, process of transferring this onto watercolor paper. Once again, here's our printout. We're gonna flip it over. This is my method. It requires absolutely no graphite transfer paper. You do it yourself. You're going to color the background either with any graphite pencil or any pencil of your choice. You're just going to get this fully covered. This is a regular pencil. This is from the uh, Dollar Rowley. I just picked this up at Walmart years ago. It had a bunch of pencils, a uh, needleable eraser in here. This is a woodless, uh, woodless a woodless graphite pencil and this has been my favorite one so far what I do just get that area that you want to transfer you just get that fully covered on the back go 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 I'll be back and show you how to transfer onto your paper of choice okay I've sufficiently covered with my pencil the area I want to transfer I'm going to use some tape I have the paper that I'm going to transfer let's flip it over all right, get it where you want it on your paper. This is a hot press watercolor paper. I like to use that a lot. Tape it here so it's not moving around. All right, taped. Grab a sharp, that's why I like these mechanical pencils. Let's just start down here. So we'll start and you're gonna do a little check to make sure that you are actually transferring through. So let's get a little section done here. Let's 
see how we're doing. Get this wheel on here. Okay, let me see. Let's see how we're doing here. Yep, it is sufficiently transferring, so you're going to go ahead and continue your design. Just continue until you are completed. Completed, go all the way around. Do it in small sections and keep that tape on there because you don't want it slipping around. You will find that this is a very, very useful transfer technique. You don't have to buy any special transferring papers. Save your money for other art supplies. All right, let's see how we're doing. Oh yeah, it's coming through, it's coming through. All right, I'm gonna continue this transfer and I'll be right back. And I also wanted to mention it is completely free to go to that Pinterest page. It does not cost you anything. It's free. You just help yourself to go on there, look what other people are sharing. It's a very useful tool if you haven't gone on there already. It's been around for a while. So I really suggest you do that. You'll be able to find where I'm putting all my printables. I'm going to try to have that because I find this very useful. It cuts out all your <laughs> agonizing, worrying about how to draw. Get right to the painting. You'll have so much fun doing this. All right. I'm really happy with everybody joining and subscribing. I'm happy with being able to share all my techniques. Tell your friends, tell your family to come on over, check my YouTube channel out. I'm going to try to put up some really fun, informative crafts and painting. Let's see how we're doing here. Yep, coming through, coming through. And then you can always go over that with more pencil, paint it. You have so much fun doing these transfers. Your mind will start being very creative once you start trying out new techniques. I know once I found this technique, I was like, oh my gosh, where has this been my whole life? Fabulous. Now everything I'm offering you for printables is 100% my original artwork. You are welcome to go ahead and download those, print them out, have fun with them. Now if you're doing anybody else's, make sure you get permission. And you know, when you do your own, you could do the same thing. You can keep reusing it, tweak it, make it a little different, but it's always nice to uh, be able to reuse something you did, recreate it. You can just keep repainting it and repainting it and you'll have dozens and dozens of original and they won't even be prints. I mean, it, I keep thinking of different ideas to do with this. So here's the printout. As you can see, it's very faint. It's very faint right now, but you can go over this with your, your Sharpies, your paints, whatever you feel. But that is how you do a very unique transfer Get that all covered with your graphite or your pencil, and you're good to go. Thank you for joining me. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the technique. All right, see you later.